welcome back. We're going to add to the modular buildings today. These are, well, here's a bit of a hint as to which, which set we're going to be changing up. And by we, I don't mean me. Uh, this is an actual alternate build of the Art School of Emma's Art School by Brick Artisan. So you find these instructions on Rebrickable. So let me just get this up so that you know exactly where to go if you want to do this build. So he's called it, so you go to Rebrickable, <laughs> it's Brick Artisan. He's called it the Art School Corner, which means it has one flat side. So you can nestle it up against your other modulars and it's got the other side, which is designed to be on the corner. And I've already done, this is the third, the third of his alternate builds that I've done because he does such a great job. I can't even imagine. I, I don't even know how you go about starting doing things like this. <laughs> Blows my mind. People are so clever. So if you want this, I think it was $5 USD just to download the instructions and you only need one copy of Emma's Art Studio. He does also have one that uses two of Emma's Art Studio, but I haven't got to the point where... I'm ready to build something like this. I think this like an alternate build just here that I can pop onto my street will be quite cute. And I'm also interested to see how it fits together and still has all of that cute stuff on the inside. Okay, all right, so with all of that said, let's get going with this. And he's kept the actual architecture of the build the same, like the same style. He hasn't completely changed it up, which is what was done with the, come on, come on, come on, the Madrigal House. No, the Madrigal House? Yes, the Madrigal House. He did like a completely different style of facade for that. It looks amazing. This is just kind of a change up of what the actual original building looked like so that it will fit size-wise <laughs> into your Lego city. Okay, right. Okay, that was a lot of babbling. I think I got all the instructions. Out. Oh, there's one more thing. One more thing I was going to say is that he's mentioned in his notes that this isn't as stable as some of his other modulars just basically because he's limited to what pieces he's going to be using because he's just using the, the, the pieces from this set so all right whew, i'll stop and i'll take a breath now oh and you know there was one <laughs> mentioned that you probably if you want to make this just look a bit more cohesive you probably need to add doors to the door frames like the back there's that pink door which is currently open you don't have to to make it structural but you can so i'm rushing through this build because a lot of it here is i've kept all of the furniture and the stuff inside is pretty much the same. The coffee table has been just mixed up a little bit, just a little bit to fit into a different space. So down here as you enter in, I mean, it's not, these are not really designed to be playable, but they're packed into, you got all the detail stuff packed inside and then it all gets enclosed in. But each floor is designed to be removed so that you can access on the inside if you want to. But if you want it to still be a playable doll's house, which is what I might end up doing, then you just keep it as it normally is. It might go, I might go back to the original build, but I just love doing different stuff. Like grabbing, grabbing the set and then rebuilding it is so cool and fun. And the fact that people are clever enough to make instructions of alternate builds just blow my mind anyway right so we have got this is going to be the side that's going to be the side that's going to be like the corner the corner of this and now we'll see what this bit is I think this this is the overhang so this is pretty much actually I think this might be uh, don't quote me but I think that this is almost exactly the same no, I think it's exactly the same as it was on the original art school so the big sign out here on the front is just attached it slightly differently because it's modified the way that it all goes together and I just like the fact this was filled with lots and lots of prints and dots style canvases and they're all still here featured in the whole build so got a dots canvas on the inside and then I think we just need to get in oh yeah no the sewing bit on the wall here next to the sewing machine so so much crammed into this little space but I like that <laughs> if you've been here ever ever before you know that I like to cram a lot of stuff into a teeny tiny space so this works out for me <laughs> I like to have a lot of detail in the builds so this one currently does uh, all right this is this is the little bike rack section so I'm curious to see where this is going to be added so this was okay so we've got the dots canvasy thing which is now facing inwards uh, so those were the two yeah they were on the front they were part of the focal part underneath of each of the windows on the front so this is so clever so this goes up over the top and I'm going to assume that this whole wall here is going to be covered over otherwise those like looking at the back of that blue plate is going to look pretty pretty dodgy but I'm pretty sure that pretty sure that's all going to be rectified now these are some steps 
to get up to the next level. So clever. Where does this go? That's what doesn't fit. Oh, no, hold on. It goes in here. Wow, look at that. So tidy. So that does kind of cover over the, those blue plates. They're down below. And now we have to get up to the next level and then get it all to the same height and then smooth it over with some jumper study things on it too so that you can detach the next, yeah, the next story. This is really clever. This is so clever. People who do this just make, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm blown away by people who are capable of doing this because I am really, really not. Maybe one day, <laughs> long, long in the future, have to learn how to use studio and I, it hurts my brain. So this is going to be, so getting the flooring, yeah, flooring happening for the next level. And that's, this is all, I mean, this is quite stable, nice and sturdy. So the walls go along here and the pink, yep, that one lines up with the other one. And this, the instructions say to put the peacock facing inwards, but I wanted it outwards. So I might have to change that. There might be a reason that, <laughs> that he said to put it facing inwards, but it will just keep going as, as per the instructions for now. And I'll see if I have to adapt stuff. So this is the photography corner. And then we've got the <laughs> got the clay making area, clay making area, the pottery area. And these are a little seat to use the 3D printery section <laughs> and used as a seat. I assume this is used as a seat as a chocolate bar. <laughs> Maybe that's just where it's stored. And here's your little 3D printed Lego. Lego man. Uh, yep, flower for the window. Nice big spotty for the photography studio. So on the inside, it's just basically the same sort of furniture as the original build, just kind of packed in more closely. Slight, I mean, less usable. It's certainly not a playable area, but it's, it's fun. I like it. Uh, so windows over here going on in the same style as the ones downstairs and yep. Okay. So yeah, this is the similar style. So well, keeping the same style as the original build, just compacting it into a different area. And then this is out the back. So, oh, okay. Those outward facing studs. Yeah. We'll come back to that in a minute. I'm going to have to turn the peacock picture around because the outward facing studs means something's going to be attached to the outside of that wall. So windows on the front similar to what we had initially. And then these are going to be either side of the roundy bit and then yeah, roundy windows going on. Look at that. I mean, that looks really good. But yeah, I need to change this around. So there was a reason I should have known, <laughs> but I just didn't want that picture to be all covered up on the inside. <laughs> oh, all right. So next step is to be putting all of the smooth bits along the top here with some jumper studs so that you can attach it for the next level. Once again, he's used a mishmash of colors here, but that's because that's what's available with the set. It doesn't matter. It all gets covered over. And I don't know what's happening out here. We've got a cute little railing area, which is, which was initially downstairs with the tree. So that's cute. But now, Ah, oh, rainbow staircase. So a ladder up to the next level. And then, yeah, okay, that holds the other dots canvas. So smart. So this attaches, oh, it's a landing for the top of the stairs. Oh my gosh, the smarts. It's so smart. Are those doors really do, like those door frames <laughs> really could do with some actual doors, like, you know, closey bits, but eh. I'm just going to leave it as per the instructions with no extra pieces at the moment. I'll play with it later off camera to make it just, if, if it needs to be more stable, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it up. But yeah, I, I think it needs doors. <laughs> it looks a bit weird having the wind blow through from the back. Once again, it's just using the pieces that are available in the set. So this is the next level up. So this is going to be the very top, like little terracy section. This had originally all of these very curved architecture. A curve. <laughs> I was gonna. I was. My brain was trying to put together the words architecture and curvature, and I'm glad it didn't because I don't know where that would have gone. So, com like a compacted version of what we initially had, with the there was a big clock up here too. So all these smoothie bits. It's really cool. It's just. It's a modified version of what it looked like initially, just simply so you can fit it into your into your nice modular flat street. So here's our clock. These go around here, little curly cubits on the edge. And then on the top is a place to put both of the paintings and the clay making thing, which is a weird place for it to be, but there was no room in the room downstairs, I suppose. You come up here to do your clay making. So this goes up here, pottery making. Why do I keep calling it clay making? So this is the top level. 
And that's a little, oh, that's a little like an overhang over the, that's really clever, over the porch. I wondered what that panel was. And apparently we're just supposed to put the tree here down at the bottom of the stairs, which looks a bit naff, but I wonder if I could fit it up the top. I reckon the tree would look really cool up the top. I I might try that, but for now, I'm just going to grab an extra piece because having that tree just floating in the air like that is making me uncomfortable. I'm going to move this over, put Emma on the front. Oh, and that torso inside is askew as well. I just keep <laughs> getting distracted. There we go. Fix that up. It's good that I can reach in there. So there's still nice, still, still room to get in there from without having to take off the level above. But yeah, so this is the flat side going against the other buildings. It, it's pretty substantial. I actually think it's quite cohesive. It's not going to fall apart in my hand, but we'll just make sure our tree is extra attached there. And yeah, this is really great. Look at this. I want to put the tree on the top though. I really do. So let's have a look at how it looks with my, well, with a few of my other modular buildings. Now that really, if you didn't see the beekeeper's house, which is a modification of the friendship tree house, make sure you check that out too. Cause Brick Artisan made that as well. And I did have the Madrigal house, the enchanted the big, big thing in here too, which was beautiful, but I broke that down to make my own version of the Madrigal house. So that's not a part of this anymore. But that's okay. It was fun to build. It's it's fun to build and then break it down and then build them again. I'm trying to figure out where I want this to actually be situated because it's kind of small, but I like how it's little, how it's pokey. I think I'll just, I think I'll just leave it like that. Look, I'll be adding it. <laughs> I'll be adding it to my street anyway, but it's super cute. It is cohesive. It does hold together. It's not unstable. I'm going to do a few little modifications myself to it, I think, now that I'm done. But thank you very much to Brick Artisan for these instructions and for making them available for people to download and actually build. Oh, it's so nice to have options of something to do with a set once you've built it. It's just so fun. All right, enough rambling. I mean, sorry, enough rambling to yeah, 10 minutes ago. So subscribe, do all the things, notifications, blah, blah, blah. Check back in. I'll see you with another video really soon. <laughs> Bye.